So an astronaut walking on Venus would first sink into the molten surface, be crushed by the atmosphere, and then burned alive by sulfuric acid rain. Hello everyone and welcome back to Universal Narratives, where we embark on an extraordinary journey into the depths of space, exploring the Soviet Union's fascination with the enigmatic planet Venus. Join us as we delve into the declassified photos and unarchived evidence from the Soviet Venera program, a series of daring space missions that unfolded during the turbulent space race of the 1960s. In the 1960s, while the United States focused on the moon, the Soviet Union's celestial fixation was Venus, or Venera, as known in Russian. Their missions to this hellish planet were shrouded in secrecy leaving the world to wonder about their unwavering determination. The Venera program was a grand endeavor, launching 28 sophisticated spacecraft towards Venus, setting the USSR on a path to explore the atmosphere and surface of a planet beyond Earth. While the US concentrated on satellites and technological advancements, the Soviets paved the way for interplanetary exploration. Early Venera missions faced challenges and failures, providing crucial insights into Venus's harsh environment. Thick atmospheric pressure, extreme temperatures, and scarce water resources. Yet, they persisted, refining designs and strategies, leading to successful landings with Venera 7 and Venera 8. Venus was a world of great intrigue for the Soviet Union. They sought a higher purpose beyond the search for life, aiming to understand Venus's history, geological makeup, and the possibility of extraterrestrial contact. Economic and political challenges within the USSR impacted the Venera program's momentum, leading to its eventual decommissioning. However, the Soviet legacy lived on, leaving discoveries and unanswered questions about Venus's potential to host life. Today, the scientific community is captivated by Venus, with recent discoveries of phosphine in its atmosphere sparking new interest. Phosphine could be a possible biosignature indicating microbial life. The Soviets were ahead of their time, paving the way for future research. As technology and space exploration progress, studying neighboring planets for potential signs of life beyond Earth becomes increasingly important. Venus, once considered inhospitable, now holds renewed promise for astrobiological discoveries. Declassified Venera mission photos have resurfaced, raising questions about the presence of alien-like creatures captured on Venus's surface. These images reignited interest in Venus exploration and the quest for life beyond our planet. Advancements in space travel and renewed interest in Venus have led the Russian space agency, Roscosmos, to plan a conclusive mission to the planet by 2029. This new area of exploration holds the potential to uncover more secrets about the mysterious planet and provide unprecedented insights into the possibility of extraterrestrial life. The Soviet Union's fascination with Venus extended beyond scientific knowledge. The space race was about geopolitical rivalry between superpowers. Both the US and the Soviet Union sought to demonstrate technological prowess and dominance on the world stage, making Venus exploration part of this competition. Venus, the second planet from the Sun, has long fascinated astronomers and scientists. Its proximity to Earth and similar size led to speculations about habitability. However, space missions revealed Venus's harsh realities, proving it far from hospitable. Venus's surface is dominated by a thick, toxic atmosphere mainly of carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid. The greenhouse effect on Venus causes surface temperatures to soar up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit or 75 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt lead. The atmospheric pressure on Venus is about 90 times that of Earth, which would crush any human-made spacecraft attempting to land there. Despite these challenges, the Soviet Union persisted in exploring Venus. Venera missions provided close-up images and data from the planet's surface. Venera 7 launched in 1970, was the first spacecraft to successfully land on Venus and transmit data back to Earth, providing valuable information about surface conditions and atmospheric composition. Subsequent missions, like Venera 9 and Venera 10, also successfully landed on Venus and returned images and data, contributing to our understanding of Venus and its geological features. However, there were setbacks and failures, with missions crash landing or losing communication, highlighting the extreme challenges of exploring Venus. 
Notably, Venera 13 landed on Venus in March 1982 and transmitted images and data for over two hours. The images revealed a rugged and rocky landscape, with evidence of weathered rocks and a dry, barren surface. As the Venera program progressed, the Soviet Union's fascination with Venus evolved beyond scientific exploration. Speculations arose that the Soviets might have had military motivations for exploring Venus, using it as a potential strategic outpost given its proximity to Earth and its challenging environment that could deter adversaries. Another theory was terraforming Venus, investigating methods to transform it into a habitable planet where humans could live in the distant future reflecting the ambitious and futuristic thinking of the time. The fascination with Venus also had cultural and societal implications within the Soviet Union. Space exploration was a source of national pride and a symbol of technological achievement for the nation, with Venera missions celebrated as triumphs of Soviet science and engineering. The Soviet media portrayed Venus as a mysterious and alluring world, fueling the public's imagination and curiosity about the cosmos. With Venera missions featured in popular science magazines and documentaries, captivating the Soviet people. In contrast, the U.S. space program focused on different targets, with the Apollo program's moon landings becoming the iconic symbol of American space achievements. NASA did send several missions to Venus, including the successful Pioneer Venus and Magellan missions, but its primary focus shifted to other celestial bodies, like Mars and the outer planets. The end of the Cold War and the dissolution of the Soviet Union brought an end to the Venera program. Economic challenges faced by the newly independent Russia led to a re-evaluation of priorities, with space exploration taking a back seat for a time. Nevertheless, the Venera mission's legacy lives on, with continued scientific community interest in Venus. Today, Venus remains a subject of fascination for astronomers and scientists worldwide, with recent discoveries of phosphine in its atmosphere sparking new interest in the possibility of life beyond Earth. The renewed interest in Venus has led to new and ambitious missions planned for the coming decades, with NASA, ESA, and other space agencies developing missions to study Venus in unprecedented detail, exploring its atmosphere, surface, and geological features, shedding light on its mysteries. In addition to governmental missions, private companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin have set their sights on Venus, attracted by the potential for scientific discoveries and even future colonization efforts. The quest to unravel the mysteries of Venus continues, with each new mission bringing us closer to understanding this captivating planet. Perhaps, one day, we will witness humans setting foot on Venus continuing our journey to explore the cosmos and seek answers to age-old questions about life beyond our home planet. In conclusion, the Soviet Union's fascination with Venus encompassed scientific exploration, geopolitical rivalry, and societal pride. The Venera program's successes and challenges significantly contributed to our understanding of Venus and set the stage for future exploration efforts. As we stand on the brink of a new era of Venus exploration, anticipation and excitement fill us for the discoveries that lie ahead. Finding signs of life on Venus, even in its most primitive forms, would revolutionize our understanding of the universe and our place within it. As we continue to explore, let us remember the importance of international collaboration in space exploration. The mysteries of the cosmos transcend national boundaries, and working together as a global community will lead us to even greater achievements. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the Soviet Union's fascination with Venus. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay connected, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Your support means the world to us, and we can't wait to bring you more exciting videos. Join our growing community today and be a part of the adventure.